So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to consider it as a diagram question. The question starts off by saying the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. A line of best fit is also shown. Here is our line of best fit. We can see our scatter plot with these points kind of around that line. Some are below, some are above. None of them are actually like really on the line. The question goes on to say, which of the following equations best represents the line of best fit? Okay, well, not really. I don't really care about all those other dots there. What I care most about is just the line itself. So the equation of a line on this test will always be represented in slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y intercept. So those are the only two things that we should really have to find here in order to answer this correctly. And the easiest thing typically to find is the y-intercept out of those two things. So the graph, our, our line of best fit touches or crosses the y-axis right here. So that's our y-intercept. It looks like it's just slightly below 3. So um, let's see. Yeah, so that means, you know, here 2.8s, these look good, but negative 2.8s do not look good. That's definitely not our y-intercept. So what they've done here is they've just written our y equals mx plus b structure that we're used to, but the answer choices have been rearranged to be y equals b plus mx, right? So let's not let that confuse us. So these are still considered b values here. We don't want a negative number, so c and d are gone. All right, now in terms, of our, in terms of our slope, it looks like I'm choosing between a positive 1.7 or a negative 1.7. So I'm not going to take the time to actually figure out the value of the slope. All I care about is the direction. Is it going to be positive or is it going to be negative? And as we can see, to get from this point, for instance, we have to rise, which means we're going up, which is a positive direction for rise. And we're running to the right, which is also positive. So we expect our slope to be positive, right, because our rise again, was positive, and our run is positive. And if we remember, slope is equal to rise over run. So therefore, the correct answer must be choice A, because it gives us the correct y-intercept of 2.8, and it gives us a positive slope, which, which is what we expect. So choice A is the correct answer.